Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Jonathan Kaplan. I'm here to talk about my first movie, Night Call Nurses, a New World picture which Roger Corman referred to as the third in his Nurses trilogy. With the Night Call Nurses, experts in their profession, they nurse patients the way no doctor can. So I just returned home from working as a follow spot operator at the Fillmore East. It was about one in the morning in New York in 1971, and I got a phone call from Roger Corman calling from Hollywood saying that he wanted me to come out the next day and direct the third in his Nurses trilogy, Night Call Nurses. I immediately hung up on him thinking it was a practical joke. He called back and said, young man, there are people lined up from here to London who would jump at this opportunity. I'm offering you this chance. Are you interested or not? And I said, uh, I'm, I'm very interested. And he said, good. I said, but I can't drive. And he said, I'm not asking you to be the Teamster captain. I'm asking you to direct the picture. Can you direct? And I said, absolutely. So I came out the next day, went to New World Pictures headquarters on Sunset Boulevard and was introduced to Roger's wife, Julie, who I was told was the producer of the film. He told me that the script needed to be completely rewritten. He expected me to do that. He asked me if I knew how to edit. I said, yes. He said, good, I could be the editor of the picture. And he suggested that I make sure to shoot the nudity from the waist up and a total nudity from behind, no pubic hair, uh, wanted me to get a shot of a bull of a watch and a Jensen automobile, and told me to go to work. I got Danny Opatashu and John Davison, two friends of mine from NYU Film School, to come out and work on the script as I started casting. One of the cast members was already hired. It was Alana Hamilton, then the bride of George Hamilton, soon to become Alana Hamilton Stewart. Uh, she was a Ford model, and she had already been cast. I think the film will probably be the most remembered for the appearance of Dennis Dugan as a cross-dressing murderous psychopath. Dennis Dugan, of course. Dennis Dugan, of course, has become a very successful comedy director. Directed Happy Gilmore, among other pictures. It was shot in 15 days. It cost $75,000. I was convinced when it was done that I would never work again. I went back to New York and continued to try to get into the Editors Guild. I'd been editing non-union for five years and working at the Fillmore East. And basically thought that that was the end of my directing career. I got a call in August from Julie who said that the picture had broken records in Tallahassee and I was being invited back to do another picture for Roger, this time the same picture but with teachers, the student teachers. I have my own instrument of communication. Now why did you have to go and do that? Night Call Nurses exposes everything you've always wanted to know about nurses. On or off duty, they always come when you call.